Jesse, obviously uh, the move to left guard is not something that's uncommon for you, but how do you feel like you performed and the unit performed? Uh, and then I wanted to, to ask you a follow-up question after that. Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, moving to one side or the other is difficult. I wouldn't say I played very well, but, um, you know, we fought hard. I think the unit um, showed some grit that we didn't show in the Buffalo game. And I think, uh, you know, we gave ourselves a chance to win that game. But um, I think, uh, you know, I'm proud of the guys, how we responded bouncing back after that week. And, and to follow up on that question, uh, when, when you rush for o o over 100 yards, it's a, a, a good milestone of one that team often makes as a goal. How do you keep that going? Because this is the first time you guys have done it this season. Um, just you know, keying into the game plan. And uh, when we get those opportunities to run the ball, we got to make sure that we're, you know, we're hitting the right, right spots. So uh, I think the backs did a great job. Uh, I think our communication was a lot better uh, considering the environment we were in, but um, it's just, you know, day to day, you know, keep, you know, doing our walkthroughs, doing our uh, preparation. Alan. Uh, hey, Jesse, um, I'm not necessarily big on the, the notion of must win games, but you certainly don't want to fall one and three after four to, to one and three after four games. So how would you describe then the level of of urgency among you and your teammates? Uh, yeah, every you know, every week we're, you know, we're, we're thinking we got to win this one. But um, uh, definitely this would be a good week to get a win back, uh, put us back on the right track, um, you know, build the confidence even more. Um, but, you know, we're day to day and, you know, we're focusing on Colts and how we're going to win this game. And I got a quick follow up here and I apologize if this is a weird question, but is losing a game the way you guys lost where you seemed out of it, you make the late comeback, then you convert a fourth and 20 to keep your hopes alive. Is that almost more frustrating than had you lost, say, 25-14? Uh, you know, every win or every every loss is, you know, it hurts, but uh, the way we fought, you know, and how we how the game was going, how the momentum I felt like we were, you know, building, uh, that one definitely hurt. But um, watching the film, you know, looking back, there's opportunities that we missed, but, uh, you know, a loss is a loss. It, it all sucks. Travis? Hey, Jesse, I know you played guard yesterday, but you played so much tackle, I figured it was a good question to ask you because – it seems like a lot of the pressures come off the edge when they send extra rushers off the edge. You guys kind of squeeze in to pick up some of the inside rush, and then that rusher can come off the outside. I'm just curious, what kind of challenges that presents to an offensive line when you get that pressure off the edge that kind of they show pressure inside to get you to squeeze and then bring guys off the outside? Like, how tough is that to, to deal with? Um, yeah, depending on the um, protection, it could be, you know, difficult, especially at the tackle spot. Um, but it's all about communication when it boils down to it. So, um, you know, each, each pressure that we see, um, you know, some could be multiple blitzers, one, maybe one, but uh, uh, they all, you know, have their challenges and our rules. So it all depends on the protection. Of it. Thanks, Jesse. Any have any questions for Jesse? One more. We, we, we've talked about this many times, but how much of it is obviously offensive linemen want to run the ball because it, they're on the aggressive as opposed to the, the counter. But how much of running the ball is a mindset? Yeah, I think every offensive line wants, you know, to run the ball, have, you know, have a good run game going. Um, you know, that sets up the pass game, but it also, you know, gives us uh, better opportunities as well instead of being second and long you know, your second and five or second and manageable. But uh, our mindset, yeah, we always want to run the ball. We want to, you know, be the aggressor. We want to, you know, show our force. But um, you just got to, you know, run the game plan called. 